guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be showing you guys how to make your very own adventure hobby in Roblox Studio. Now, to do this is pretty simple, so I'm making a series on this to help you guys make one. And you could probably get a lot of Robux out of this. All right, so for the first episode, we are going to be working on the map design and the checkpoints. Now, we're gonna make a checkpoint system where you have to pay to skip a stage and you have a pretty good UI system in the top on the leaderboard. Now, let's get started. For the map, I recommend you guys just use part by part, as you can see right here. So, we kinda wanna like extend the map and kind of just build this for a while. You kind of just need to know how to build and probably build a nice, interesting obby. Now we are not working on obstacles in this episode, so you guys don't have to really worry about that right now, but we will get to that later in the episodes. Now I'm just gonna grab a free model right now for our obby. So let's um, let's make like a flood escape adventure obby. So let's go flood escape lobby, maybe. All right, now let's find a good model, maybe this one. Again, I don't recommend you guys do this. I recommend you guys make an original map, original obby. Now, let's make sure to turn off 2022 textures because those kind of ruin everything. We gotta go to material service, make sure properties is open, and turn these off. All right, we have our flood escape lobby. Now, we want to kind of map out our um, checkpoints or our stages is what we would say. Now, where do we want to start this obby? We'll have to like map that out later, but make sure you build your lobby and make it the best you can make it. Basically, make it very interesting and for an adventure obby, you need to have it like a little adventure. Like for me, I'm gonna have it so like you jump down these and you get into like the flood escape levels, like a real a flood escape game. Now, let's get on with the checkpoints. All right, so now with the checkpoints, we're going to want to make a new folder up here, and we're gonna just name these checkpoints, all right? Checkpoints, all right, and we're gonna want to make a checkpoint model real quick. All right, so, oops, sorry about that. Make sure to actually lock your map if you want. I'm not gonna do that right now, so if you lock your map up here, you will not be able to like move it around like this. Oops, I almost crashed. All right, so let's make um, a checkpoint model right now. So let's select our part. And let's just make a simple, you know, a little a little pad. So this is where we're gonna start our obby. This is where we're gonna spawn in. Let's spawn in right on this bridge. All right, that seems good. And we wanna name this one. All right, so this is checkpoint one. Now we're gonna wanna duplicate this and move it to our next stage. So let's pretend like there's little lava blocks over here. We're gonna say that this is stage two. Now we're gonna rename this to two. Let's make three checkpoints right now, just for example. And the last checkpoint will be inside the facility, which we will rename to three. Now I recommend you color these different so we could identify which ones are they. So this is one, yellow is two, and this one could be red, why not? All right, now what you wanna do with these models is put them into um, the checkpoints folder. So I just selected them, you could press control, and just click on all of them, and now we put them into the checkpoints folder. You can close that, and nice. All right, here's for the tricky parts, scripting. Now, I'm gonna give you guys the, um, the script in the comments so you guys can use it, and it will be pretty easy for you guys. So now I'm gonna insert, we're gonna go to server script service, enter a script. Now we're gonna rename this to um, basically this script right here. We're gonna just name this um, checkpoint function. So this is what makes the checkpoints work. And as basically what this is saying is every single time you hit a stage, um, it makes your level on the top go up by one. So let's test the script right now. As you can see, let's click play. All right, all right. So we're loading in. Now as you can see, we spawn at stage one. As you can see, top of the screen, stage one right there. Now we're gonna click this. We're gonna go on this. This is stage two right here. All right, we're about to click, go on it. Stage two, right up there. And let's try reset. Oh, what if I die to an obstacle? Are right, we died? Oh, by the way, we should probably anchor those. And as you can see, we spawn right back on this pad. Now, let's go to three, for example. All right, so we do the obby. And stage three, it's updating in the player list. All right, and if we reset, there we go. We're probably gonna respawn right there if our scripting is correct. And yes. All right, let's test this with multiple people though, because that's the main thing. 
All right, so we're loading in for two people. Make sure to like and subscribe if this helps you, by the way, guys. All right, we're loading. All right, create our own experience. And here we are, two players right here. So I am, as you can see, I am player two right now. So I'm gonna touch this checkpoint right over here. Sorry about that, player one. All right, now I have advanced, and now I'm higher than him. Now, if we're gonna, let me go back on my other account. All right, so we're back on this one. And as you can see, there's player two over there. He got stage two, dang it. I wanna get stage two too. All right, so I'm gonna go on stage two, and boom, we both got the same checkpoint. Now, if I pass him, sorry, bro. And then now we have a new checkpoint. So if I reset on this one, I will respawn right here. Let's make sure that works. All right, so we respawn right here, and I'll go back on our other account. All right, this is our other one. If we reset, we should respawn back at the yellow one. Let's see if that makes sense. Yes, it does. All right. All right, so our checkpoint functions are working, which is great. But now what if we, what if there's a really hard obstacle and our player can't get through it and they're gonna leave the game. They're just gonna leave if they can't do it. Well, maybe we can offer them a compensation. Maybe if we make a skip stage product, which we'll be learning how to do right now with a GUI on the side of our screen. <laughs> For this point, you're gonna wanna follow me exactly what I do. Now, I'm gonna click on game settings on the top, save to Roblox, you could name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name this Adventure Obby. All right, make sure, console, probably a good idea. So we're gonna add console support, and just click save. Now you have your local place, and now it's saved to the cloud, if you have Team Create on. Now we got our Adventure Obby right here, and we're gonna wanna go into game settings once again, and we're gonna want to go to the security tab, allow third party sales. This will allow our players to buy the skip stage product. All right, now it's time to get into our fun stuff. We're gonna want to go to one of these tabs, monetization in fact, and we're gonna want to create a developer product. Now we created one, and now we have the, the, the developer product. Now we're gonna rename this to skip stage, or whatever you want. This is what's gonna appear after you click on your thing. And you can make this how much Robux, how many Robux as you want. Now, I suggest doing 25 Robux, if that's a good amount. If you're doing a hard adventure obby, I'd probably bump that up to like 100 or 50. But for this case, I'm just gonna put 25, and this will be the product that we use for this. Now, if you have a setting error, it's okay. Just go back, um, you wanna go back to game settings, and just do the same thing, and it should work. All right, we're gonna wanna go here, and let's do skip stage again and 25 Robux. All right, so if that works for you, good for you, good job. Oh wait, I, I can't show this, all right. If this doesn't work for you, I have another way to get around this. All right, so we wanna click this, click on your game right here, which you have saved. All right, now what we wanna do is click on it, and we're gonna wanna go to associated items over here, and we're gonna click on developer products and do the same thing we were doing before. This has more customization because you can create a little image right here. I'm not gonna do that for now. So let's make it skip stage. All right, no description for me. 25 Robux, and this should work. Now we got our skip stage product. All right, oh okay. so we're back in studio and we're back doing this. We actually wanna rename this actually to checkpoints. What is it? Hold up, let me remember. Checkpoint script, that's what I put it. All right, so we wanna name this to checkpoint script. And we're gonna wanna make another script, we could duplicate it, control D, and rename this to skip stage. This will make our skip, skip stage work. All right, we can delete the skip stage script, and we are going to do some coding ourselves, guys. Now, basically what we are about to do is going to help us get this enum product, which is what they call it in studio. Now, as you can see, I just pasted a script that I made a while back. But as you can see, it's basically saying local marketplace equals game get service marketplace service. It's basically getting the function of getting the product. So when you buy it, you will be able to add stage level plus one. Now we're gonna wanna go back over here and we're gonna wanna um, go to back to our ID. We could copy this ID by going to that place before. And where is it? I think it's right up here. Copy that, all right. Wanna paste that in, and boom, we have the script almost complete. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make some simple, simple UI right now for our skip stage button. We could position this anywhere you like. We're gonna make it actually um, a text button on the side. So text button. And we're gonna customize this out to whatever we want it to look like. Now I'm gonna have it and um, make sure you optimize it to whatever you want. So let's have it like, let's have it right there. Maybe a little bigger. All right, that's good. And let's rename this. Let's change the um, values. Let's put properties on the side, actually. All right. I, I definitely suggest using rich text and text scaled. And you can just go out it, um, customize your button of what you want it to say. So skip stage is what I'm going to make it say. Let's change the um, font. Or we can change it to that. That looks good. Uh, let's make it, let's see, let's make it, I like this font, that looks kind of good. And now, if you want to add smooth edges to this, you could actually use, um, I forgot what it's called. What do they call it? I think it's, uh, corner. Yes, UI corner, and now your thing will be like smooth. It'll be like a smooth, smooth button. And so I think I'm going to make it a little blue, blue button. And I think that's pretty much good for our UI right now. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is now, put once you're finished with your little skip stage button, you wanna enter a local script into the text button and copy and paste what I put. So what this does is when you click on the button once, it will pull that ID up, which will cause you to buy the thing. And when you buy it, the other script over here, skip stage, it will basically add one to your stages and you will progress, which is basically skip stage button. Now there is one more step to do in our tutorial, and it's to replace this blank value that was 0000 a second ago with our ID again. So replace this with the same ID you put in the uh, skip stage, so they're the same ID. And now let's test this and see if it works. All right, we're loading in, and hopefully this works. Come on, let's go. We're at stage one. We're gonna click the skip stage button. We're gonna buy it. Oh. And yes, guys, it worked. We teleport to stage two. As you can see, it updated right here. Let's try to buy it again. We could buy it again. Great. And it worked. Stage three. Let's go, guys. We did it. We made the first step to our adventure obby. All right. Well, that's basically it for this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more episodes of this. And comment if you have any issues or bugs. Or tell me if you need any help with this. And I'll help you guys in the comments. Anyways... Subscribe and like and something big news is coming soon. I'm actually I'll give you a hint I'm making a UGC hat and a little little RB Bows tournament. I don't know why I'm getting so close to camera Anyways, thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe like I already said and king out Here's how to customize your checkpoints in your adventure obby get the kit that I placed down in the description and you will have the shovelware studio checkpoint basically this is how you basically use the checkpoint system and this is basically the inspiration of this whole episode um, basically just making a shovelware studio oh my god I said basically a lot but anyways we got the checkpoint here down in the description like I said and we're basically just gonna place this on our checkpoints now we got one here let's place the other one right there and the other one right there. Now we have our checkpoints placed and they are fully functional. Now we're gonna go into this checkpoints folder, um, select all these and make sure their transparency is all the way down. Now you will not be able to see them and you will only be able to see the real checkpoint. Now let's go test it and see if it works. All right, we're loading in and it should make that sound. Yes, it does. Now it makes that classic checkpoint sound as we want and as you can see, we're on stage one. Now this is great, it works basically the same way on how uh, you just set up, except we got a cooler model for our checkpoint. Yep, and we go there, stage two, and basically, yeah, that's how basically this works. Okay, I have to stop saying basically, but yes, you got, you heard, I said subscribe so many times in this video, but you guys know the mission. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you guys do want a, um, a second parts to this. Make sure to like the video. And yeah, I, I said too much, alright, alright, king out.